and then we will eat your face right off your head. You will be this armless, legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a turd in the wind. We are Venom. Hey guys, I had a lot of requests to do a tutorial on the Venom voice, and I used uh, Adobe Audition, so I wanted to get into that, but before we do that, Make sure you go to my online store to check out my t-shirts, Teespring. There's youth sizes, adult, women's, different colors. Make sure you check them out. I would really appreciate it. So I'm not an audio engineer and I've only been doing voiceover for a little less than a year now. It's been going really well. I've been taking classes in Philly. With that being said, I've done some research and a lot of trial and error on the Venom voice. And uh, this is what I came up with. It's not 100% exact, but I like it anyway and I still like the effect. My screencast program compresses the sound a little bit and you can hear it. Overall, I think you get the idea, so let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Audition. As you can see, I have two different files here. I did two different videos, two different impressions of the Venom character. This one here was from my first video. This was kind of the way I did it. I did it differently after seeing the movie. But this one here um, was after I heard the trailer I thought, oh, I gotta try that and I did it a certain way that is a little bit more breathy, you know, it's like, it's like from the chest. Eyes, lungs, pancreas, so many snacks. You know, it's not as much in the throat. So I did that here, so let's listen to this real quick. Look into my eyes, Eddie. The way I see it, we can do whatever we want. Do we have a deal? So it's a little bit more from the chest pushing out that air. I'm not as much in the throat. So after I saw the movie, I thought, well, actually, I think it sounds a little bit different. I, you know, I kind of heard it differently. I thought, ah, yeah. So I think my second uh, video was a little bit closer to how Venom actually was in the movie. But that's just my opinion. I think they both sound kind of neat in their own way. So I thought I would show both ways. So let's take a listen. I am Venom, and you are mine. Take a listen over here. Won't you? Rolling down the street like a turd. In the wind. We are Venom. Okay, so that sounds different. I wasn't doing it as breathy from the chest. It was a little bit more of um, in the throat, you know, trying to get my voice as low as it can go. I don't have a very deep voice, so that's why some of these effects come into play, and I'll show you that then. But I tried to get as deep as I could and still get a little bit of that gravelly you know, grungy uh, effect in my voice as well. So after seeing the movie, I definitely heard it differently. So with this... I am Venom, and you are mine. So I'm kind of mixing a little bit of that too, where it's like, I am Venom. So like I'm trailing off with a little bit of that deep breathy impression, that breathy voice that I had from the first one. So I kind of mix a little bit there just to add a little bit of depth, a little bit of bass to it. I recorded these that we're going to be looking at today through a newer microphone I bought. Um, it's an XLR mic by SE Electronics. It's the SE2300. It's a little bit newer. It's a nice condenser mic, really crisp and clear, and I'm actually using it right now. And I personally really like it. When I did my videos, I did those with a USB mic, the uh, Audio-Technica 2020. Once you record um, your file, make sure you do a file save as. So you have that original that you can go back to in case you, you know, mess up with any uh, effects that you're like, oh, I didn't want to do that. And then you close the file after you've saved it. Well, you can't go back. So make sure you always have a backup file, just a reminder. So first thing uh, we want to do is go up here to effects and we want to go to filter and EQ and then go ahead to parametric equalizer. Um, I have a setting here. So with these settings, when I bring up the boxes and everything with the numbers, feel free to pause the video and uh, write down the numbers uh, so that you have them here, my settings, and see if they work for you. This is gonna be kind of a guide. You can start with this and then work it to your voice. Uh, maybe it sounds a little bit different, a little bit better here, a little bit better there. So um, this is what I have here, <clears throat> the uh, parametric equalizer kind of does control over tonal equalization. Uh, I just like to bring up the lows here a little bit, bring down the mid just a tad and highs up just a little bit. So let's take a look, listen. So down here, we can toggle on and off whether or not we hear this effect. So we can play it right here. So let's hit the play button. I am Venom and you are mine. 
actually you can hear a little bit of difference there. So with these though, on each of these effects that we're going to be doing, this little button here, save settings at a pre as a preset, is very cool because once you have your numbers in, you can just click on this, save it as the preset that you want to call it, you know, call it whatever, Venom, Parametric Venom, whatever you want to call it, give it a name and then click OK. I already have this saved so I'm not going to do that. But with each of these, you'll see this little guy up here and you can save your settings which is really nice because then you don't have to come back in and re-enter everything. So we're going to do this, click apply and it's going to do it. Now as you can see these guys are up here a little past the threshold which I don't like but we're going to do something else that's going to bring them back down. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to um, effects and then amplitude and compression and this is going to bring them down a little bit. This is going to compress it a little bit. Uh, single band compressor and I have my settings here. Again you know, once you have them here, you can save them. So we're going to go negative 13 on the threshold, 3.8 on the ratio, uh, attack 62.2, uh, release 839.9, and the output gain is negative 1.4. Okay, so now we're going to go to stretch and pitch, which is where we're really going to hear the depth of that voice come in. Um, so let's go to effects, time and pitch, and then stretch and pitch right here. So I have a setting here already set up, I called it Venom B. Keep this guy at 100% the stretch, uh, especially if you're doing it with video, that way you know it doesn't shrink the time or make it longer and you won't sync up with your video. The pitch shift here, I have it negative 2.61. Now you're going to have to play around with this with your voice because mine isn't very deep, I try to get it deep. Negative 2.61 is pretty good for me, but it might be different for you, so play around with it. Once you get your setting, again, save it here. So I'm going to click here and uh, click apply. Now let's take a little little listen here. I am Venom, and you are mine. So you can hear that. Let's go over here a little bit. Legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a turd. So now we're starting to really hear that that voice come into play with the, the stretch and pitch. It's sounding pretty good. Let's go to effects, filter, and EQ, and then we're going to come down here to FFT, filter. This kind of analyzes frequency and uh, amplitude but really what we're going to do here is uh, pull up the lows um, so if you have the default here is just a straight horizontal line so what you do is you click and you drag you know, come over here click drag and so on and so forth but really that would be fine too we're just bringing up we're just pulling up these lows over here so I have mine set up already I'm going to kind of do that there you can Kind of see the numbers here again feel free to pause you don't have to get these exact just get get the basic shape and you're going to pull out those those lows pretty good so let's hit apply there let's hear the difference here and here again in fact you go anywhere let's here. this faceless thing won't you rolling down the street like a turd in the wind all right okay so we're going to go to effects filter and eq graphic equalizer 20 bands and there's a preset already here called possible bass and we're just gonna use that guy. This kind of boosts or it cuts specific frequencies. This one is gonna boost kind of the low end, the bass frequencies. I like adding this to it as well. So feel free again. Well, since this is a preset, you don't necessarily need to pause it, but the um, just using that preset, the possible bass, I like to add that to it. Rolling down the street like a turd in the wind. starting to sound pretty good so next we will go to effects modulation and uh, the chorus flanger this is my preset here so um, speed 3.9 uh, width 16% intensity 41% transients 88% um, this this adds a little bit more well a little bit more almost like a chorus you know you get that almost like it's more than one all right, so let's let's kind of let's hear how that sounds here. So we're gonna hit play. Rolling down the street like a turd in the wind. So it sounds kind of cool. So let's click apply. Basically, the last one I do is if we go to effects, amplitude, and compression, and then back to single band compressor, there is a light mastering one. We don't have to add this. Um, you don't necessarily need to do that, but. Um, Kind of puts a little icing on the cake. Rolling Don't. down the street like a turd in the wind. We are venom. 
depends, you know, whether you want that or not. So I'll apply that. All right, so let's take a listen here, and see how this sounds. I am Venom, and you are mine. Listen carefully, Eddie. You did not find us. We found you. I know everything, Eddie. Everything about you. You come in here again. In fact, you go anywhere in this city, preying on innocent people, and we will find you and eat both of your arms and then both of your legs, and then we will eat your face right off your head. Do you understand? Yes. So, you will be this armless, legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a turd in the wind. We are Venom. Okay, so that's how... Uh that sounds now with those effects uh, again you can play around with the effects um, get them to where you want them let's take a look at the other from the first video of how I did it let's take a listen to hear how this sounds before we do the effects look into my eyes Eddie the way I see it we can do whatever we want do we have a deal eyes lungs pancreas so many snacks so little time we're going to do some similar uh, effects here. So let's go effects, uh, filter EQ, parametric equalizer. And again, we're going to use the same one. So we're just going to click apply there. All right, so let's go to stretch and pitch. And this one is just a tad different. Since this one is inherently a little bit lower in the sound, we don't need to go quite as low in the pitch shift. So I did 2.27 on this guy. So let's do this. All right, so we're going to do... Again, we're gonna do modulation, chorus, flanger, venom one, so we go apply. And then we're going to go to uh, effects special, this is a Doppler shifter. This one is kind of cool, or you might like it, or you might not. But this guy, it, it's kind of a neat effect. You can do uh, different presets that they have, but it, it messes with like the left to the right, but it makes it sound like, you know, something can come in from the left, go to the right, something can come in from the right to the left. This guy here, the Eye of the Tornado, basically makes it sound like the sound goes around, away from you, and then back to you again, around, away from you. So it kind of messes with like the left and right. The Eye of the Tornado does it 4.5 times per second. So I was trying to use that to get a little bit more of that like distortion sound that I thought I heard. You can click apply there and Let's take a listen here. Into my eyes, Eddie. You can kind of hear that. The way I see it, we can do whatever we want. We have that, and then we go to modulation, and we're going to do, yeah, effects, modulation, and then chorus, and do Venom C here. I had a lot, and I messed around with this a good bit, so did a lot of different variations of it, um, a lot of trial and error. Okay, so let's, let's see how this sounds. Let's back it up here. Into my eyes, Eddie. The way I see it, we can do whatever we want. Apply. And the last thing I did here was the VEX Amplitude Compression Single Band Compressor and the Light Mastering. So now let's hear how that sounds. Look into my eyes, Eddie. The way I see it, we can do whatever we want. Do we have a deal? Lungs, pancreas, so many snacks, so little time. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at how to save a favorite real quick so that we can save all these effects basically like one click, and I'll show you how it does it. You have your history down here, which is nice. You can go back if you don't like one of the effects, you can say, Oh, well, let me go back and redo that again. Let's say for this one here, let's say we just opened it, right? So, what we're going to want to do here is save all these effects over here that you see in history into basically one favorite. So we can save them as a favorite up here. So up here, go to favorites and start recording favorite. And what it will do is it will record all the effects that you do in one time until you tell it to stop. So we're gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna try to run through these quickly. So we did the parametric equalizer. Okay, single band compressor. We went to mat two at this point. Bear with me. Stretch and pitch. Gotta change this here. This guy, 
and then we went to FFT, which was here, and we did that. Graphic EQ, graphic equalizer, 20 bands, and we did that. Uh, apply. Single band compressor, and we did the light mastering. Okay, let's say we have our file, and we have everything how we want them. Uh, we have all our effects tuned nicely just to how we want it. Then we can go stop recording favorite. Now when it stops, it's going to ask me to save it. So I'm going to call this Venom. And I'm going to click OK. You'll see I have Venom here. Cool. Right? Well, let's say you just bring in your file. So let's go back to open here real quick. So this is my original file. I'm going to come up here. Oh, favorites. Venom. It takes care of all the steps, all the effects in one one shot right I think that's pretty cool so you can record your track and then if you have everything tuned the way you want it uh, all your settings and effects the way you want it boom you just click that and there you go well guys that's it for the tutorial I hope you found it helpful bear with me that was my first tutorial so hopefully uh, you understood it and hopefully it made sense if you like this type of thing you know maybe I'll do some more in the future but make sure to subscribe to keep up with uh, other videos coming up and I thought about possibly doing this with audacity since audacity is a free program I know I'm doing this with Adobe audition and really the only reason I'm using Adobe audition is because I work as a graphic designer and I do freelance work so my freelance work basically pays for this. I'm able to do it but not everyone can do that so I totally understand. Stick with me, I got a lot of good things coming up. I plan on doing an unboxing with the new Mac Mini that I just got so I'm excited to do that with different character voices so I think that could be fun. We'll have to see. Thanks for the support, I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time.